Hello and welcome. It is match day Arsenal versus Porto in the second leg of the round of 16 uh, Champions League game. We do know, you know, Arsenal are 1 0 down on aggregate. Um, as you know, Porto did get that last minute go when we played them at their ground. Um, but yeah, today they're at the Emirates, so it's going to be a completely different atmosphere. You know, us Arsenal fans always out loud, Larry getting behind the team, you know, supporting. We are literally the 12th man out on the pitch. I'm just making my way to the stadium, as you can see. So I thought I'd speak to you guys before I get amongst the crowd and it gets a little bit busier. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really excited about tonight's game. I'm feeling quite confident as well. I do feel like we will get the result that we need and progress on. Um, I do feel like it's going to be quite a tough battle. I'm not expecting an easy game from Porto. But, you know, we're Arsenal. We're going to go out there, get the job done and progress on. I haven't seen the starting 11 yet because it's not yet out. But I am going to give you a score prediction right now. I reckon... <laughs> We will score two goals today. Porto won't score any. And the full time result will be 2 1 on aggregate. So that is my score prediction for today. Anyway, I'll speak to you guys again uh, once that all important starting 11's out. Actually, let's discuss the starting 11 briefly. Um, I do feel like it'll be David Rea who will come back in goal for us. Um, in terms of everything else i feel like we'll pretty much have the same team that we normally put out kai havertz has been shining brightly i guess he's a player that you just don't want to see drop um in terms of uh the left hand side we know that martinelli um is not likely to feature uh, because of his injury so um we did see trossard you know start on the left hand side i personally thought he'd done pretty well in that game um, in terms of tonight's game, will Mikel Arteta start Gabriel Jesus, someone who's a bit more experienced in the Champions League? Who knows? I mean, it's a call. So I'm just waiting for this car to pass, but they're going rather slow. Who knows? Um, yeah, I know some of you have been calling to say, you know, maybe Jesus should start on the left-hand side. Let's see what Arteta does. I reckon he's going to tweak something a little bit because, you know, maybe Porta was able to sort of suss us out in that first leg. So I reckon Arteta is going to change something tonight. Let's wait for that all-important starting 11. Let's go, baby. Tottenham! That's alright! We hate Tottenham! We hate Tottenham! We hate Tottenham! We hate Tottenham! It's time for Africa! <laughs> it's time for Kai Havertz! Match day, match day, match day! Outside the Emirates, baby! <laughs> this gentleman's looking at me like I'm absolutely crazy. Well, you guys know I love keeping you posted on the movements. Uh, yes, I'm feeling excited, feeling vibrant. Just can't wait to get in and get this result. Let's do this. i got my program. Listen, I've seen the starting and <laughs> I've seen the starting 11 with the exception of the goalkeeper. Starting 11 remains the same. So David Rea is in goal and Mikel Arteta has stuck with the same 10 outfield players that's played against Brentford. Listen, I'm happy with that. I feel like, you know, we got the job done against Brentford. Uh, let me just show you guys the pitch. Ready. Oh, they're reading out the starting 11. Normally I'm inside at this time. But yeah, I'm happy with that starting 11. I'm confident, like I said. It's gonna be a bit of a tough battle, I feel, but we're gonna get the job done. 2-1 on aggregate. That is my score prediction. Let's go. 
Gunners, baby. Robert's Lounge. Get your merch. Auto fans are here. But the system standard negatively affects some supporters. Auto fans are ready. Loud. But we louder. I do feel like it's going to be a tough battle. I feel like it's going to be a good game. And we are going to go through to the next round with a 2-1 win on aggregate. As you see, teams are out there warming up, getting ready. Let's go, Gunners!
to Arsenal and 1-1 on aggregate. I mean, that was quite a tough battle in that first half, but I feel like we played pretty well. We got a well-deserved goal. We did look like the better side. However, I weren't expecting Porto to be a rollover, and they definitely weren't. More of that in the second half. Let's score another goal or more and qualify for the next round. I'm still feeling confident. Let's go. to Arsenal so that's 1-1 one, one on aggregate I'm absolutely gutted that um, goal didn't stand but uh, it looks like it's going to go extra time now so hopefully we can get the job done and it doesn't go to penalties let's go all right back to resume let's go boys let's get this job done no goals in uh, extra time so it is going to penalties not what we wanted but that is the situation and um, yeah man hopefully we can progress on from here. <laughs> it's the turn of Odegaard to the
night at the Emirates Stadium tonight. So the aggregate score was 1-1. One, one. And Arsenal won 4-2 on penalties. Now, as expected, it was quite a tough game against Porto. You know, coming into this game, I was not expecting it to be an easy one. I was expecting a challenge from them, which, you know, they did give us uh, quite a bit of a challenge. Uh, we could have actually got the job done in normal time because we did actually manage to find the back of the net. But I think there was a foul or something in the build-up. So um, Odegaard's goal did not stand. But, you know, when we uh, went to full-time, I was thinking, all right, come on, we just need to score a goal. Uh, and then it went to penalties. When it went to penalties, I can't lie, I was feeling a bit nervous. But in my heart, in my mind, I knew that we was going to get it done. You know, I knew that we was going to qualify. I knew we was going to go through. I was just feeling positive from before. So, yeah, all in all, a fantastic night. I was happy when David Reyes saved that first penalty. I think from that point on, it was just confirmed to me that, like, yep, yeah, we're definitely going to do this. But, yes, all in all, happy with tonight's uh, performance from the team. You know, really dug deep, tried to get a result. And I'm happy that we managed to qualify and we are now through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Now, I must say, when I did say to you guys before, look, we're going to win the Premier League. We're going to win the Champions League. You guys all thought I was crazy. I mean, we're one step closer now. So, you know, everything is possible. Anyway, guys, as you can hear, my voice is gone. I've been screaming. I've been shouting all evening. Uh, it was a fantastic atmosphere in the Emirates Stadium. You know, we really got behind the team, cheered them on throughout the whole duration of the match extra time and penalties you know the fans today were 10 out of 10 i'll give it to the porto fans as well because they was there from early really cheering on for their team also but you know like i said they're down at the emirates stadium completely different atmosphere you know the arsenal fans were on fire we were literally loud and leery throughout the whole duration so yeah, big credit to the Arsenal fans, big credit to the team, big credit to Arteta and the coaching team also. We've done it, guys. We're going into this international break on a massive, massive high, top of the Premier League table and through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. I mean, we couldn't ask for anything better. Well done. I'm Charlene Smith. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed and I'm signing out. Peace, baby.